Uptick in Earthquakes, Oklahoma Consults California the sudden uptick in earthquakes in Oklahoma has plenty of folks in the area asking whether the onset of tremors is linked to hydraulic fracking. But for transportation officials, the more immediate question is, can our bridges withstand the seismic activity? The state has 6,800 bridges a circumflex 468 of them classified as structurally deficient, a circumflex and most were not built with frequent earthquakes in mind. But earthquakes in Oklahoma have become so common that inspectors are being called to check out bridges several times a week, often on weekends or in the middle of the night. The Oklahoma Department of Transportation, ODOT, recently paid for their counterparts in California, the only state with more earthquakes than Oklahoma, to visit and share their expertise. ODOT is using the visit to develop an interim policy, says Paul Green, ODOT's Director of Operations. To that end, they are looking into implementing several checklists that California currently uses in assessing bridges after earthquakes. California Department of Transportation officials also discussed which bridge designs were most susceptible to damage, says Tim Tajler, ODOT's Director of Engineering. Inspectors especially keep an eye out for bridges that are narrow, have unstable bearings or that have supports that are not perpendicular to the ground. Caltrans showed off a unique computer program it uses called QuakeCast that alerts inspectors minutes after an earthquake to which bridges are most likely to be damaged. Oklahoma is unlikely to adopt a similar program at this time, but it helps to know which bridges to carefully.